Hello everybody, what's going on? Alan here, the Gibson Garage Speed Shop, which is just my garage in my home. Nothing crazy special. Hopefully, I will be getting up a lift soon, so please, if you wanna help out with that, hit that super thanks button down below right there, somewhere down there. Donate to the channel so we can get that concrete poured and, and get that lift up. Uh, but today I'm gonna show you how to remove and or replace the door panels in one of these Chevy OBSs. I'm actually gonna be not just reinstalling new door handles because those are common to pull apart, but I'm gonna have to replace a couple clips. I bought a brand new bag of clips here and I'll leave a link in the description below because those are kind of hard to find. I got them off eBay, but to find the right ones is kind of hard. Not everybody's got them. So I've already got the driver's side one off on this side and I know I said door handles, but I meant armrests with a handle. These are armrests. Here's my original door panel, which is still in pretty good shape uh, in the original armrest, which everything on here is broken off. And that's what can happen to a 30 year old truck vehicle. So we'll get the, oh, it's, that's just gross looking too. But let me throw this one back together real quick to get my bearings and then we'll move over to the passenger side of the Suburban because that is in just as bad a shape as this guy. Some couple of fresh clips in the back that we're missing. And this guy is gonna slide through. Doesn't have to be removed. So don't worry about that. We're just gonna slide it through and let it chill. Hook it onto the top. Oh, there's another clip missing there. I didn't realize. Okay tap that way there we go first one's in now you want to just not blindly start hammering these have a lot of room the clips back here those white clips have a lot of room for sliding around so go around and make sure each one is in the place before you start slapping on it that easy we're gonna leave this hanging for a minute oh, I still got all the old pegs I got to pull out these old pegs here and here all right what I did not realize is it has these clips on the back side of these these little metal things so that's not ideal and that ripped off so that sucks that would have gone right there that's, that's super sucky, I hate, it's just, it's old. Man, I wanna cry. Now I know this isn't like wood wood, but I think it's wood-ish, right? So I'm gonna try wood glue and give it some time and we'll probably move on to the Suburban. So I just realized this, I've owned these trucks for years and I've just realized there's a difference. I thought these were exactly the same interior. This one came with electric power windows. So it's got this extra bit here. It puts the, you know, it's really for this, but they're like, oh, let's, let's put the window switches there too. Since we've got this whole panel here, we don't want it to look empty, I guess, instead of putting them there. And over there, we'll just put one window button. Yeah, but on this one, since it didn't come with power windows, power uh, mirrors, I mean, uh, it's just power window switches here. No, none of that extra stuff going on here like this one has. So while I think these will still switch out, that's not a problem as far as this goes. Um, I can't switch door panels because of finding out about those clips behind the pegs there. And I don't have extra ones. I was like, oh, I'll just switch door panels. But I don't think I'll be able to. I don't know. So maybe once. I imagine these are probably installed the same way with clips or something behind it that I can't replace at the moment. I don't know. Right, so the first thing you're going to need to do is remove this screw here. If it's necessary passenger side on the Suburban it won't be necessary to remove that just yet because that's where it's one of the places where it's all busted 
the other place it's busted is the screw right here behind this panel which you're gonna need you could just get back here with your fingers and rip this off oh there's a side one there's the top one there we go and that slides into the door panel you just need to kind of wiggle it out give yourself some room with the electricals here there we go yeah see this one was busted on mine too just hanging out there but you would need to remove this screw first normally and then the armrest will come out with the door panel now start at the bottom here and try to work out all those clips if I can reuse these ooh save myself a trip to the store nice oh dang that's from the top too i don't even know how that fell out so that's that one that through the whole viola this one just came out right here and we'll push it with the direction it needs to go and see if we can save on that clip too two clips I can reuse now I gotta put some glue back on this guy well, since this one is just as trashed as the suburban and a big crack right there the, it's that thing that kind of matters the most well both of them together I don't know you need everything there's no point in switching this over to the Suburban see the driver side on the Suburban's trash too that same clip is missing they're busted so I still got a little bit of this one intact so that's good a little bit of glue in there That's not what I wanted to happen. Let's see. So these did not have a hole drilled in it, but there is a tiny hole in the underside. Take a mechanic's pick. So on the driver's side, there was a tiny hole already drilled in here. Just a tiny little pinhole. And I was able to stick the mechanic's pick in there and poke a hole through there. All right, so there is a bit of an indention in here. I'm just gonna do my best to find center and drill a little 16th inch hole. Oh, it like almost fell through. There we go slide this on while we're waiting for glue to dry there are four in each handle I pushed one out <laughs> I didn't realize it was still in there so save on another clip now these holes are kind of messed up so I'm almost thinking I should find a thin washer to go on first and then put the clip on. I found a washer that should help hold it in place. And I took a hammer to flatten out these clips. I'm gonna get a socket, put pressure on it from behind. Might need to use a slightly bigger socket. I don't know if it's letting it do its thing. Oh, what's going on? Nice. And that is in. I just got to do that nine more times. No, wait, seven more times. I'm going to jump over to the driver's side because I'd rather 
finish that up first. I have enough clips to only do one. There we go. Easy peasy. Now I think I'm gonna find another washer for this guy. Just like the passenger side, it's a little wallered out. Go. Just set him there. Very nice. Now I'm still nervous about this even being dry enough up here yet. Whew, floppy. I think that's completely broken, actually. Yep. Sweet. I threw some glue in the crack there and just used that little clamp to try to hold it vertical. And now we just gotta wait for that to dry. I got all these clips in the driver's side. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. And then a little washer behind that one just to help let this dry up. All right, I think we waited long enough. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together. Slide this through. Have to be very careful here with this part. Put a screw in here. And hopefully this holds lined up. Those clips can move around, so <laughs> nice. Now I gotta slide, tuck this end in first a little. A little slot. There we go. I guess that's as good as it's getting. That's in, that's in, it's in. Ooh, that looks very clean, so nice. Let's uh, see if it works. Oh, I need to turn the key on. Oh, what was that about? Yeah, it got hung up on that little guy, that little guy? Might have to shave on that a little bit. There's just like a little bit of a ridge. grabbing it still huh I think I got this clip like all the way on the other side instead of actually clipped over it I'll take it all back apart and try to readjust that all right I don't think it was out of place but uh, it's just where it's glued now so it actually survived me pulling it apart and putting it back together just now so that's good the glue is holding up and I took a little sandpaper to that so oh 
Oh, so nice. But yes. Finally a door handle I can grab. Well, I did a no-no. It might make some people cringe. I took that passenger one apart. It was already busted. And it just happened to have three clips left on it. So I went ahead and just broke those tabs the rest of the way off to steal the clips. And now we can finish putting this truck back together. Gave him a little hammering on a flat surface here to close up the gaps. Get us started there. Nice. This is actually going to be kind of exciting to have both of these door panels working so good. Now we can see if this door panel, the glue held up on this one as well as the other. That felt like positive engagement. So did that one. Whew. I didn't hear the ripping of cheap cardboard. Get them all lined up, all these plastic clips lined up before you go smashing all of them in. There we go. Screws that. There we go. Now let's hope this finds the right clip as easily as the other side did. Okay. Tuck this in first. Sometimes that wiring for these buttons got to be forced. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's uh, maybe do some test fitting to see if this is going to be a problem for you guys. I don't really like that at all, but. Maybe I, all I could really do is trim this plastic up, but then you run the risk of it looking trimmed <laughs> and crappy. Although I think this looks worse than the chance of seeing some sand marks on this plastic. I don't, that's a huge gap. I don't like that. So this has like a bit of a curve. If I just take a tape line and make it match so it's just straight up and down it's something these manufacturers didn't take into account and then this angle has to be cut again a little further back to match this angle and you can see here this original does have a, a slight taper this way so that's something to keep an eye out for Okay, let's try that. Well, that's a lot closer. I mean, almost just worth calling it. Oh, that looks so much better. Yeah, it's still this, this new door rest, armrest is just kind of pushing it in farther. But this here is almost perfect. So much so that I, I could go a little further, but I don't think I feel like messing with it anymore. And that's it. Look at that. Go from the old and busted to the new and fresh on both sides. Go out and get yourself some, guys. Fix your busted rides. Be careful of this 30-year-old particle board. And if you've got problems shutting your doors, you've got to fix that first. Because grabbing that handle to slam this door shut is exactly what ruined this door on the Suburban over there. Just tr slamming, slamming so many times because it was wrecked and just was way too hard to close. And that's why I had to do fixing the B-pillar, which I still haven't finished welding that on yet. But that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys hanging in there. 
please share please like because I want you guys to stay tuned I still got struts to do on the Magnum we've got the Volkswagen Jetta over there somewhere we've got all the interior pieces and the door to change on that and I'm also going to be rebuilding another transmission on an 03 Dodge Dakota so if you want to see any of that subscribe hit the bell for notifications and until next time peace